I have a Brabus trim set here that's broken. It's plastic, but it's a polyurethane plastic and it's been sent to me by the repair company to, or the body shop, the other body shop to fix it up for them. Okay, so I am now gonna weld this up and I'm gonna show you how I do it. And what we'll do first is a polyurethane plastic. You might just be able to see that in there. Uh, put an aluminium tape on the back of something. Not only does it enforce, reinforce where you want it, but it also helps to dissipate, to dissipate the heat. The adhesion on this product is really good as well. There you go. Just make sure that lines up as well as I'd like it to. Yep, that's fine. Switch on the welder. So I'm gonna use the little 6180 from uh, Polyvance. Just make sure it kicks in. There you go. Right, so the first thing we're gonna do is using my die grinder. I've got two in here. I'm gonna go with this one. You can see the nozzles, are, the tips are slightly different, the dies. I'm gonna go with that one. Just put my mask on. So I actually forgot to press record. But what I did was I grooved out the main crack using the die grinder, but then I came behind it with a belt sander and a very aggressive belt, a very coarse belt. And I've used that so that it can give me a nice textured groove. And that's gonna help the polyurethane ribbon that I'm about to use to adhere to that. So I'm just gonna use the airless welder and I'm gonna feed this ribbon through the airless welder. Let's just clean that out from where I've used it before. Just give the end a bit of a clean. You can see it was dirty. There we go. And so all I do now is I just weld that in. Let's put it this way and then you can see. There we go. So I'm just feeding the ribbon through and it's going onto the polyurethane. I'm not worried about the paint that I haven't sanded away. It doesn't matter if that bubbles up because it gets too hot because that's all going to be sanded after I've done the initial filling. So there we are. I'm going to come back again, do a second one. Let's go from this side this time. I've got a little bit of excess ribbon floating over there, but that's fine. Like I said, I am gonna pull that off so it doesn't matter. The main thing we wanna do here is level off that area we've grooved. And you can see the paint bubbling up around it just from the temperature. But you don't need to worry about that. So I'm just gonna smooth this out now. Got a little low spot there as well. So I'm just gonna put a bit more in. There we go. Take that off, we don't need that. So you can see how I've welded it up. And I wanna repeat, repeat the same process on the back. I also need to address this somehow. So I'm gonna think about that in a minute, for a moment, once I do the back. You can see there's a little bit of flexibility. So I wanna pull that in slightly so it goes in and I can do that using the front. Right, let's just let this cool down. There we go, that's nice and cute, cool. Take the foil off the back, reuse it for the front. Okay, so like I said, I've moved the foil onto the back here, and now I need to address the crack on the inside. I'm not so worried about the crack on the inside. It doesn't need to be printy, it just needs to be strong. We've got that little section there, we need to pull it together. So I'll use a little bit of tape just to hold it in position there. So I'm using some orange tape from Q1. It's a good tape. It's uh, thicker than the rest of their other tapes in the range. And so it's gonna make it stronger and just gives it enough nice tension or enough strength just to do this job. There you go. So I brought that crack closer together. Now to uh, 
V this out. So I have welded in there. As I said, you must, if you're gonna, wherever you weld, you must always take the paint off. But because I'm not welding into this area, it doesn't matter if this overlaps on the paint a little bit. It's mainly the, where I V'd it out that's the most important. Remove all the old paint there. That's where the strength is gonna be. So we'll let that cool down slightly. Take this off. Be able to release that now and it should be holding in position. Yep. So that is the initial part of the weld. I'm gonna to have to do something on here. For that, I may need to use my Dremel kit. Uh, what do we want? Let's see. We want something in here. Something like that. Okay, so I've grooved that out now using the die on the Dremel. And, um, you know, the strength is, I'm not so worried about the strength here because it's gonna be strong on that side and here. But I am gonna bring some polyurethane around the rod, welding rod around the side there. Let's just put that on that. Bit too high. There we go. So let's put, bit of welding rod in there and then we can sand that back gently. You can see it just melting in. So we don't want a lot. Just want to try and keep this bit of the repair quite simple. Just smooth that off. You can see the color of it's a little yellow. That's because it is probably a bit too hot. But that will do fine. Let's just let that cool down. So I've got some 180s there, uh, 50 mil, and I've also got some really coarse 60s. So it's the 60s that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put it on, on the little die grinder, and not die grinder, little sander. So I'm gonna put my mask on again for this. But before I do that, what we're trying to do is level this all off now. So I'll just stop there to show you what I've done. So a lot of you would sand away first, you'd sand the paint away. Now that was unnecessary to do on this. I don't, I like to keep the sanding to a fair minimum, just sand the area that I need to be welding. If I was coming up on the side here, then yes, prep that area. But that's not what I was doing. I want this weld to just be in that V that I'd grooved out. So now I'm sanding away the, the top level of the glue, sorry, not the glue, the polyurethane that I welded in there, the ribbon and bringing it flush with the rest of the panel. So I can still feel it's high there. You can see a little bit of paint. All of this should be a nice gray color. And as you can see, that's the side that matters. It's nice and flush. It's all good to go. I'm going to actually just give it a slight skim of keyed up. Well, it's actually been sanded with 180. So I'm just gonna skim that with some putty, some plastic repair filler or putty. On the inside, I grooved it all out. So it is now nice and strong. Um, yeah, really pleased with that.